Hello friends and happy 2024 and the first video of the year. We got home right before midnight, so we were able to bring it in with our dogs, which was really, really exciting. And now we're having an easy breezy day. I have spent the majority of my day, look how you could tell what I did, floors are clean, everything is just wiped down and super spotless. But we have had a pretty lazy day. Look at this over here. I am making a Pennsylvania tradition. So I have pork going with sauerkraut and I just made some dumplings. I called my mom and sister because they're both together right now and I said, how do you make your dumplings? And they both, I thought they were gonna have like this really great recipe. They're like, we just use Bisquick. I don't have any Bisquick. So my mom helped me find a recipe, um, which she also had off the top of her head because she has done it without Bisquick. It was like a cup of flour, half a cup of milk, um, a little salt, a little sugar, baking powder, and I cut in some butter and then drop them in. I read this online when I was looking before I talked to my mom to seal it with some aluminum foil for the first like 15, 20 minutes so that you kind of steam them with the juice of the sauerkraut and the pork. So I have that going. The half hour is over so that initial steam is done. Look how beautiful they are. I could not be prouder. Those are gonna keep going till dinner, which We'll probably be like in an hour and a half, but that is all set and things are looking good. So I have been thinking a lot about what I wanna do in 2024, at least at the start of this year. I really wanna use this platform as a space for us to learn and kind of grow together and really establish something in the new year that we can like hold true to. I'm going to be using this as like my personal diary. I haven't decided if it will be daily little entries or if it will be every other day. I'm not holding myself to any expectation. My goal though is to pick up the camera every day and record one video entry or multiple and it'll feel vlog style. So if it's something exciting that I want to share with you, um, I'm going to do that. But I want to commit to like a, building habits for myself, but also building habits around consistency with content. I can tell you right now, a large focus is going to be me navigating, getting back on track with my health and wellness, and that is both mentally and physically. I have gone through it, as many of us have the last couple years. They felt very hard. And I think last year, I had a lot of expectations and the start of my year started off really hard. So for me, the start of 2024 is so important because I felt like the start of 2023 just knocked me for a loop and I really struggled to get back on track with it. So you're going to see me navigate it and we're gonna talk about the great things and the not so great things. I am still toying with a couple ideas around the format of these videos. Like I said, I want them to be vlog style and very authentic, but I wanted something to be really consistent throughout all of them. And one thing that I think we could all use is this idea of going through some self-discovery or some prompts that I will answer, but also always will have it in the description box for you guys to write as well. Or you could privately DM me it if you want to talk offline and not have everyone see your public comment. But I thought it'd be a great way for us to kind of all keep this log. Also, you don't have to share it at all. Write it in a journal for you. Let's use this year to establish what we want off the bat. It takes 21 days to build a habit, so I'm committing to at least 21 days. But I have a sneaky suspicion it might be more. Like I said, I'm not quite sure of the upload speed, 
but my commitment is to pick up and film, even if it's just the journal prompt for the day, my journey as I establish new habits and boundaries and learn a little bit more about myself. So with that, let's do today's entry. Before I jump into today's question, I should mention that I have literally just been Googling and Pinteresting and all the things, um, various prompts and self-discovery ones, and also ones that I have thought of on my own. And we're going to kind of just navigate them so there won't be like any rhyme or reason to what the prompt is for the day. Maybe some weeks we'll do like a theme of, around the prompts, but most part, I just want them to be random. So today's prompt, and I think it's a great one to kick off the year with, what advice would your 80 year old self give you right now in this moment? And I think my 80 year old self would tell me to spend less time worrying and stressing and having anxiety about things and overthinking and over processing things and know that everything in the end will work out the way it's supposed to and to spend less time worrying and stressing and more time doing because I think sometimes our worry and our stress and our anxiety and our overthinking oftentimes stops us or impedes us from doing the things that we want to do in order to get across the other side of the things that we worry and we stress about and that we overthink. So I think the thing that my 80 year old self would say and the thing I need to tell myself today is spend less time worrying and stressing and more time doing the things that you want to do or the things that you want to achieve. And just remember on the days you don't want to do it or the days that like feel daunting, if you commit and do them, even if you're not fully present for it, you will feel better on the other side and that it will take the consistency of physical exercise or journaling or anything that you want to do, it'll take the consistency of it to fill the long-term gains of it. Because we all know that physical movement and journaling and boundary setting, those are all things that really do equate to self-care. The thing is we don't do them consistently enough to fill the outcome of them. And you will get more results from small, consistent daily steps than you will ever do from sporadic moments that last a week or two weeks. And I think that is what I really want to focus on is that we play the long game for actual outcomes and not short term moments. And I think that's what my 80 year old self would tell myself today. Spend less time worrying and stressing and overthinking and more time doing day in and day out. Even if it's just a little moment that will add up over these sporadic moments and that at the end of the day, it's all going to be okay and that you have one life to live. Your main purpose in life is to be your best. Your best for others, your best for yourself, your best for your community, your best for your world. And you can only do that by putting yourself first. And I think it's just so counterintuitive and we all stop ourselves from putting ourselves first and say yes to everything else, leaving us for nothing. And sometimes no is the best yes. So I think that is what my 80 year old self would say. It feels good to talk like that with all of you. Um, and I can't wait to either talk privately or for you to do this privately with yourself um, and journal it somewhere. But I'm excited about this journey that we'll go on together. It is about 3.05 in the afternoon. And the other thing I've been thinking, knowing that I want to focus on wellness, I need to have some level of accountability for my health. I have really let it go. Um, one is I have to start going to doctors regularly, not just when things are screaming. I have to go when it whispers and even before the whisper, um, as I get into my forties now, I think that's super important. The other thing I know as I start off in January and the advice I would give all of us is some people will hit January super hard. So they're on like a diet or they are. Um, exercising like an irregular amount of time that they could actually commit to long term. So for me today and this week as we journey through this is not to make these huge drastic changes. Working out for me is actually something that I'm just getting back into. For those who know, 
I am not pleased with Vlogmas <laughs> only because I literally was sick every single day that I filmed or was unable to film. I spent the month sick, but I am finally feeling so much better. And um, I started some gradual workouts before we left for Las Vegas, but I am ready to um, just do like a half an hour just right now. But I know one thing that I have to hold myself accountable for is really tracking my food. I am not restricting any food types or anything like that. I am, however, using WW only basically to track food and to keep an eye on points. I'm not uberly focused on points. However, I just need a place to log for myself daily and there are lots of free options that you can use as well. I just need somewhere where I can go back and look. Um, and identify days that I had really good eating habits and days that maybe weren't so good. So I have made a commitment this week to like really get in the habit of tracking my food and that's my first and foremost goal and just getting 20 to 30 minutes of working out in as I gradually build up and get where I wanna be. The consistency of small steps that actually last will be far more beneficial than me working out for an hour every day this week and restricting some sort of food type <laughs> because it won't last. And that's my focus for today. So I am going to get my workout clothes on and I'm gonna do like a 20 minute hike on my Peloton treadmill. And that's it for today. I did do some stretching. I did like a 15 minute stretching thing because I need to get more flexible. In my forties, I have really let it go. So I am doing some daily stretching. But we are gonna get that done so that we can enjoy dinner and all of those things. But I hope you guys are excited about this little like logging type of thing that we're going to do. But yeah, I'm excited. Let's go. Oh my gosh. I didn't talk to you guys about Las Vegas. So Las Vegas was an amazing trip. I have um, two restaurant recommendations that were absolutely phenomenal. If you are in Las Vegas, in the Wynn, there is a restaurant called La Cave. They have the best weekend brunch. It is um, not like a buffet style brunch. They literally just like walk around the room with like trays of food and like you have like a 90 minute or two hour window. And it was every single thing that we tried was delicious. I will say, I am not a sweet breakfast person. Let me know, are you a sweet or savory breakfast person? I am savory, the spicier the better. So I lean more towards like a protein-based breakfast over a carb. Like if you gave me a choice of scrambled eggs or pancakes, I'm taking scrambled eggs every time with lots of hot sauce on them. Uh, that's just my preference, what is yours? I will say, La Cave had a great balance of the two. Lots of savory options, lots of sweet options, and it's a really beautiful atmosphere. Second restaurant recommendation is The Bedford by Martha Stewart. It is in the Paris Hotel. Beautiful. If you are going, I suggest reserving Martha's room. There are multiple tables in that space. There are two tables that are reserved for Martha. We got to sit at one of those. Those are her two tables that she sits at when she is at the restaurant but the food was beautiful and delicious. Get the bread basket, it is incredible. And then I would also say the roasted chicken is a go-to. They were selling like 50 to 60 chickens and carving them table side every day. Great restaurant choice. And then lastly, friends, I, her old man is walking. I saw Kelly Clarkson on the 30th and if you follow me on Instagram, which you should be because some things from this will end up there, it was incredible. I basically shared snippets of every song, I think almost every song, not every song because I didn't record every song, but I tried to get a snippet because I just wanted to share it with you because the dates for her are so limited. But if you ever get the opportunity to see her live, do it because the music, her presence, the energy, it was just, it was amazing. It was a lifetime but whirlwind trip. I'm feeling pretty tired from it and still trying to recover, but I would do it again in a heartbeat. All right, let's get this 20 minute treadmill done. Bubba's is strolling. What are you doing? Can't hear me. Oh well, all right.
time to go. All right, friends, I just finished my 20 minute hike and that's all I need to do today. Like I said, it's about consistency, not about these big moments. So with that spirit, let's go into these diaries, vlogging, experience, whatever this ends up becoming together. Can't wait to see you guys again. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Bye-bye.